What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing some service and all change. Spark plugs are going to be replaced. And, uh, but before we do that, um, as you can see, the BMW badge is just as done as the one in the front. It just fell off by cleaning the car. Somehow this car is getting worse and worse and I cannot tell why, it's just, yeah, rubbish. But anyway, we bought some spark plugs, as I told you, from Bosch. I think it's a um, reliable brand. Uh, I bought, bought an oil filter as well, of course. I'm going to change that. And um, oil, of course, as well, which is going to be the 10W40 oil from Liquid Moly. And what we're also going to change is that gas spring um, of the hood because the hood is always falling down on my head if I want to work on the car. It's just so annoying. It's not really stable. So we're going to replace that first and then we're going to, yeah, make the old change in spark plugs. Thing is, gotta tell you why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video because I've never done a service by myself before the only th the only service that I was doing during the internships and um, as you probably know at the at the shop they were all watched by somebody and the um, service that we were doing on the Mito were also not done by myself that was done by a friend and I was just watching and filming and everything if you haven't seen the video go check that out in the bottom right hand corner and uh, yeah anyways let's get started and see if I can do that by myself I mean, why not? It can't be that hard, can it? that we need to use these clamps the old clamps since the new one came without a clamp unfortunately but the uh, thing is I remember ordering two of those and I just got one so everything I'll do now I'll do on the other side as soon as I get the second one of these Okay, so after changing the gas spring on this side, um, I think it's time to change the spark plugs. Yeah, in order to do that, I think we need to get rid of this first um, with all the plugs. And after we get rid of that, we can, yeah, swap them out. Hopefully I don't break one of these plugs. That will be real pain in the ass.
the new one with the old one there's a big difference <laughs> so I think it's about time to change these That spark plug socket turned out to be a real pain in the ass since that didn't have something to go on a wrench. That was really hard to, yeah, get the plugs out. And also to give them 25 newton meters, that's actually impossible to give them 25 newton meters in the end, which is actually necessary in order to, you know, do it right. If you uh, do that yourself, make sure that you have one of these sockets that go on a spark plug, but still also go on a wrench. So don't go with this one. Um, next up is the oil change, I think. Alright, basically that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I was struggling to do everything by myself and as you may saw it turned dark again. It's, uh, I think that's my problem doing car videos and then it turns dark and then camera quality decreases, my patience decreases 
and uh, overall everything is turning bad and yeah that's what happened today again it just happens every single time i work on a car i don't know why it's just probably it's just my fate uh, that i have to accept i don't know anyways and thanks for your tuning in and uh hit the smash hit the smash button yeah smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel hit like that will be really awesome don't forget that it really helps me out and uh, of course, explain things that I was doing wrong because I probably was doing a lot of things wrong. If you have something to suggest, please tell me in the comments. And uh, anyways, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.